Hello, I'm Wade Cruz, National Managing Partner of Advisory Services for Grant Thornton. And today we're continuing our growth series and talking about organic growth. And joining me today is Chris Smith, our Chief Strategy Officer. Chris, uh, let's talk a little bit about organic growth. I know we kicked off the series talking about growth at a higher level. Let's put aside M&A and inorganic and let's talk about organic. So I'll oh, ask the same question I did last, last time. What are the top considerations, top things you think about in advising your clients in organic growth? So I mean, I think similar to the last conversation, um, I think about sort of the dimensions of organic growth, the conversations I'm having with clients across all industries, all size companies. And um, again, it, it comes down to you know, three conversations. One has a heavy overlap on the broader growth conversation, which is around just knowing your customer. Um, and for those of you who um, watched one of the first sessions on just growth strategy in general, um, you, you heard me talk about reintroducing yourself to your customer. Um, the pandemic has hit. It's changed ways that we attract customers, retain customers, reach customers. Um, and as we come out of this pandemic, um, there's a huge opportunity to can reintroduce yourself, relearn about your customer um, so that you can actually be serving the right customers at the right price point with the right margins, expected margins. So that's the first one. Um, the second one, and this really is a, a, a reemergence of a trend that probably was going on 20 years ago, but just in a different method, but th this concept of coopetition. Um, I think for a long time we've had companies um, building out adjacent sort of sources of growth, either vertically or horizontally. And they're doing this so they can become a one-stop shop for their customer set. Some companies have actually mastered that quite well, but most companies end up um, getting to a point of they're just average at many things. And they lost the secret sauce. They lost their competitive differentiation on the one thing they were really good at and now they're average at many things, and that makes you susceptible to competition. Coopetition is the concept of saying, hey, if I really focus on the customer and delivering at the quality and speed that my customer expects, sometimes I actually have to go into business with a competitor to complete the job to be done. So in the last couple of weeks, I had a box delivered to me by Amazon, but it was a Walmart box. So clearly the product that I wanted, that I purchased on Amazon, could get to me faster through a local Walmart than Amazon itself. And that is coopetition in practice where they prioritize getting a product to me on time fast over necessarily doing it the way they wanted me to experience it. Right, so they prioritize the customer. It's pro it goes back to the customer. It did, and, and you know, when I have this conversation many times when I'm working with um, B2B companies, the reaction is, oh, like some of that is more consumer focused, B2C focused, but it's actually, um, I, I push back because we've worked with many like parts manufacturers where if there's, um, if there's a lag time going on and you can't get a part to a customer for two, three weeks, and you have a competitor that has a very similar part that's actually applicable for, for the, 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 the tool or the, the system that it needs to be used for, being able to reroute them to a competitor's part so that they get the part in 24 hours and gets them off the downtime, I mean, that is prioritizing the customer. And, and really what Coopetition does is it drives loyalty to the brand instead of loyalty to specifically the product. Um, and even, even though I personally got the Walmart box, I view Amazon as, wow, that really built my trust. They prioritized me over where the product was coming from. Right. So really, I mean, when it comes down to the customer, do you care about your customers enough to route them through your, your competitor? Yeah. Well, and, and then over time, uh, you know, competition is a little misleading. Over time, you start building partnerships. You start building different models of, of, of um, referral fees, that kind of stuff. So coopetition just is the beginning of, or the reinvention of sort of a partnership alliance type model. Um, and I think that's where some of the more mature companies have gone, is it becomes a, a strong ecosystem to deliver on that end-to-end -end customer experience instead of really viewing each other as competitors.